Hey everyone, this is Anastasia on Fire, and this is my uh, Pagan Community Weekly video. Uh, so I wanted to share this piece that I'm going to be adding to my Pagan Community Altar. Um, I've started utilizing tarot cards quite a bit in my altar creations, um, either as a point of reference, so like if I'm using it as uh, kind of an intent card or perhaps as a signifier for uh, a god or a goddess or an energy that I want to connect to with that altar. Uh, with this one, I wanted it, um, I definitely wanted it to connect to a certain energy, a certain intent um, of unification. Basically, um, the whole point of this is to send out positive energies to pagans and to help the pagan community come together as a whole. Um, sorry, my hand is shaking on, on this video, so I'm hoping that the screen isn't too jumbly. I can see it shaking though, sorry. Um, so I thought the best card for this would be the Two of, uh, two of Cups. Uh, two of Cups, stereotypically, I tend to think of it as more of a romantic uh, attraction card, but the reality is it is about attraction, uh, like attracting like. Um, it can certainly mean friendships. It can certainly mean um, relationships of all shapes and sizes. So it doesn't need to be romantic. Um, but I wasn't really finding out of the decks that I had a, a visual that I really liked. So I thought I would try to draw. And I am obviously not that talented of a drawer, but you know what? It, I, I like the energy, and I also kind of made a sigil um, for, for this as well. So it kind of works as a spell also, and I like that. So um, first, I obviously wanted to have the two cups. Um, I chose uh, horned god, the horned god insignia and the triple goddess insignia uh, to represent opposites. Um, kind of the opposing sides but in a very similar belief structure um so we have the masculine we have the feminine um they are joined together with this ribbon or thread um this is supposed to be a knot but it turned into more of a heart looking thing and i'm actually okay with that i'm kind of kosher with that so i left it as is um, here I have an insignia of the sun and the moon, again, just kind of reiterating that, that yes, it is something that is very similar. Um, they're two, um, celestial bodies, but they are very different day and night. Um, however, with the joining of these, we have this even greater connection uh, here's the horned god insignia with the antlers. They are seven tined, uh, creating the sacred number of 14 for the god. And then for the goddess, I chose the crescent blessing uh, insignia with the three droplets for maiden mother crone. Um, it, it's just, again, just kind of, it, it just hit me now. I've done three of them. Uh, three symbols of opposites yet being joined together and and that and and the two of cups I try to draw the cups as close in likeness as possible just to show that although these are kind of different energies and different feelings at the end of the day they are still the same uh, paganism is a very large large tree but when all is said and done it, it is still a spirit, it is still a very large spiritual path with many branches, but we all can come together um, in the same spirit, in the same community. Uh, so the sigils I have here, they're both the same. I just have them opposing, again, just kind of a mirror effect or a reflection. Um, I also have one up, one down, so as above, so also below. Um, and I have earth air, fire, and water, dealing with a compass, so kind of dealing with the north, east, south, and west. They are on the outside of this kind of stuff going on in the inside because no matter what, 
No matter what community you're working with, no matter where you are, the elements are always going to be the elements, the directions are always going to be the directions, and they're always going to be a guiding force. Um, whether you're spiritual, mundane, Christian, or pagan, what have you, um, it is what it is. Then on the inside here, this is all kind of to establish the pagan community. We've got the, um, first I have these cross quarters. Uh, again, just kind of showing the compass is all encompassing. It covers all directions. Um, I do have the cross quarters within the pagan community, uh, kind of to signify that extra sense that because we are tied to nature as much as we are, we kind of have that feeling of of the directions or of nature kind of ingrained within us. And so that would be within our community as well. Then I have the spiral. The spiral for me signifies a spiritual path. It is never ending. It is always evolving. It is always developing. So I wanted that to be at the center of the equation. And then a traditional heart around all of it because we should all be joined in love and good juju and positivity and sending that out into the universe instead of battling each other. So yeah, that is going to go on to the altar. Um, I'm going to try to make it look a little prettier because right now it's a little scary looking, but I wanted to share that. If nothing else, it should inspire you that, uh, you know, if you're called to draw something, no matter how scary you might think it looks, no matter how daunting the task may be no matter how little talent you may feel you have if I can do it anyone can do it <laughs> and it it really does as although I look at it and I'm not pleased with how it looks and I'm like oh my gosh people could do so much better than this I love the symbolism and the intent that I put into it and the time that I put into it so it it means a lot and so that is going to be a very powerful piece on the altar no matter um no matter what shortcomings you see in something you create, if you create it, the intent is going to be there, and that is what makes it powerful. Um, yeah, uh, I'm just going to leave that there. So that is what I wanted to share. Now let's get to the shout-outs. Um, for the new channel um, to check out, I have Earth Wolf Pagan. Please check out his channel. He's got a few... Um, he, he's got some videos up. He's got one on ghost hunting, um, a couple on the Be the Witchy Change. He's got one of on wolves and the elemental paths. And I love, I am such, I, I love wolves. And, and I, I loved that video. And I, wolf is my totem animal. So I just, I, I anything dealing with wolves, I'm going to love. Um, he has a great one on um, Selena as well. So uh, definitely check out his channel. And then um, for the Give Him Some Love, I have John the Pagan. I've heard his name all over the place, and he definitely has shot off. Um, but it, truly, if you haven't checked him out, it, there's a reason everyone's talking about him. He's got a great channel. He has a great array of videos, uh, some live chats, some crafting, some altars, just some really great great subjects and and he's very easy to listen to very easy going um both uh earth wolf pagan and uh john the pagan are both very very focused and concise in 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 their in their videos i just i i really dig them so check them out when you get a chance in the description below i'm gonna leave their um their links and all that jazz so yeah I will leave it there shorter video than my usual like half hour monsters so thank you for putting up with me I'm sorry my camera was shaky and I hope everyone has a very very good week bye guys blessed be